From Hollywood. The Jack Benny Program. With Jack's special guests, Peter, Paul, and Mary. Thank you very, very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. You know, one of the most difficult things about coming out week after week is doing jokes that are based on current events. You see? I've always had trouble with that, so one day I went to Bob Hope, who is known for doing topical material, see? and I said, Bob, how do you do it? Where do you get all the topical ideas? And he said, well, Jack, he said, first of all, you have to buy a newspaper. <laughs> and he said he also gets ideas from reading weekly magazines. Now, I don't happen to subscribe, you see, to magazines, but fortunately, I had a toothache the other day, and I went to my dentist. Okay? And while I was uh, sitting there, you know, in the waiting room, I picked up one of the magazines, and as I skimmed through the news items, I got ideas for at least 20 of the funniest topical jokes you've ever heard. Then I happened to look at the cover of this magazine, and there was a picture of the president, Calvin Coolidge. <laughs> That's what I get for going to a dentist who still gives you whiskey when he pulls your teeth. <laughs> Bill Harris recommended him. <laughs> and you should have seen some of the topical news items that were in that magazine that I picked out. Like Babe Ruth named Rookie of the Year. <laughs> the national debt rises to $2,000. <laughs> Henry Ford puts door on driver's side. <laughs> and in the society column, it said, Judge Crater goes on short vacation. <laughs> well, that's the topical news I found. So I guess I'll just have to take Bob's advice and make my writers buy a newspaper. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to introduce my guest stars, and I'm very proud of the fact that they made themselves available to be on my show. So here they are, the most popular folk singing trio in the country, Peter, Paul... <laughs> now, that set cost me a fortune. <laughs> Come back here, will you please? Yeah, that was absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Fang. We're very flattered to be guests on your show. Flattered? Well, I guess you don't realize that I, I remember you, I go back to your very first performance. Yes. You know, and I, I bought every one of your albums, and I've seen all of your performances in this area, and I, I feel that I know you not only as a group, but as individuals. I've, e I've even got your pictures on my wall. It's so nice to hear, Mr. Benny. Now, I, uh, I really mean it. Now, um, uh, tell me, Peter. Mr. Benny, I'm Peter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then, then you're Paul, is that right? That's right. Then you must be... Congratulations. <laughs> Anyway, I, I knew that you were uh, Peter, Paul, and Mary. I, I mean, the, the last time I made a mistake with three names was with the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. I almost got on the wrong boat. <laughs> to know more about you, like how you got together, where did you come from? Did you come from the same area? 
Well, no, I was originally from Louisville, Kentucky, and Paul's from Michigan, and Peter's from New York City. Actually, oh. New York City is where we got together. Our first job was in Greenwich Village. And I see. Lately, we've been doing uh, college concerts and concerts in auditoriums. Mm -hmm. Well, then, look at this is none of my business. But I can't understand why you three, why you subject yourselves to all that traveling. I mean, those one-night stands are so, so hectic. Why do you do it? Oh, now, wait a minute. I, I happen to know that last year when we, were, when we were in Minneapolis, you were doing a violin concert in St. Paul, and then you were only there for one night. I know, but I was booked for a week. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, 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 tell me, Paul. Uh, I'm, I'm Paul. Oh, oh I see. And I'm Mary. I know. <laughs> Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> now, um, now, Peter, uh, our, you know, you can all settle something for me, because I got into an argument with a very close friend of mine. It really, it got into a real big discussion, a big argument. What makes folk music distinctive compared to other, other kinds of music? First of all, folk music is invariably the musical expression of the cultural attitudes and emotional experiences of various ethnic groups. It sustains itself by the folk process or the, the oral tradition, and this really accounts for the continuing alteration of a song and to a large extent justifies the uh, urban, eclectic, cosmopolitan, uh, contemporary folk singers point of view. <laughs> Then I was right. <laughs> it's the last time Leonard Bernstein will ever argue with me. <laughs> but now tell me, uh, where does the folk songs, where do they come from? Well, Jack, they're handed down from generation to generation. I see. And some of the best of them are ballads or stories and songs. Yeah, they can, they can be written about anything or anyone. As a matter of fact, years from now, they could be singing a folk song about you. Look, kid, you mean that later on, years from now, they could actually write a, a folk song about me? Sure. Hey, can we well, show them, Peter? Mary, I'm Peter. I'm Paul. <laughs> got us all confused. No, no, you're Mary. I know, I know. <laughs> but listen, you really mean it, that later on, there could be a folk song about me. What would it be like, for Sure, well, well it, it's possible that there will be a song. <laughs> like what, for like, instance? Like, like... I really appreciate that. Listen, kids, there's something that I'd like to talk to you about now that's very, very important. Uh, important? What is, what is it? Well, it's too big to discuss 
here, you know, on the stage. So I wish you'd come over to my house tonight. Would you? Then I could tell you all about it. Oh, well, gee, see, we have a plane, and I'd have to. We have call. to. Look, we can't. Help. Listen, if it's important enough, we could cancel the flight. Well, I wish you would cancel the flight because it is that important. And could you be at my house at at seven o'clock? Yeah. All right. We'll we see will. you. Sure. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Seven thirty. They ought to be here pretty soon. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> why? Why am I hiding this? They told me they don't drink. <laughs> see, there's hardly any scotch left. I haven't got any more either. Wonder what I did with that recipe. <laughs> well, that must be them. Coming, coming. Hi. Well, come right in. Come right in. I'll get up on. Gee, I'm glad you brought the guitar and everything, because that's important. Hi, well, do you have any trouble finding my house? None at all. And what a lovely house it is. Lots of antiques beautiful? around here. One. Well, I'm glad you like it. Isn't it wonderful? What did you want to tell us about? Talk to you about. Well, why run? Don't rush. Come over here. Sit down first and relax. Make yourself right at home. Sit right down here. Now, can I, uh, can I get you a drink? No, no, we don't drink, Jack. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I told you that this afternoon. Well, who remembers? <laughs> get you a sandwich or something. No, no, we're very excited to find out what you wanted to talk to us about. Well, what's the thing that's so important? Come on, Jack. Well, all, all right, I'll tell you. Now, look, I wouldn't do this for anybody else in the world, but I like you kids. You see? Now, I wrote a song, and I'm going to let you record it. You wrote a song? Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Isn't that quite a departure for a comedian? For a comedian, yes, but not for an accomplished musician. <laughs> now, I wrote this song, I want to tell you, years ago, you see? And I've been waiting for the right people to record it. And here you are. Now, this is a beautiful ballad. It's about a fella and a girl who have separated, you see, a tort song. And it's, it's very, very touching. Does it have a title? Oh, oh, a title? Yes, yes, a beautiful title. Uh, what is it? The title? When you say, I beg your pardon, then I'll come back to you. <laughs> If we hurry, I think we can still make the flight. What did you say? Uh, uh, nothing. 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 I thought I heard you say something about a flight. Uh, uh, no, I, I said the, uh, the, the title sounds very polite. Oh! oh. <laughs> what with her begging his pardon and everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, um, look at Now, my accompanist will be here pretty soon, so we can go over the number. But first, I want you to hear the lyrics. First, they're just beautiful. Now listen to this. <clears throat> when you say I beg your pardon, then I'll come back to you. <laughs> when you ask me to forgive you, I'll return. <laughs> like the swallows at Serrano, return to Capistrano. <laughs> For you, my heart yeah. will... What? Uh, Serrano? Yes, that's a little town in Italy. Italy? It's... Jack, it's, it's physically impossible for, for a little swallow to fly 7,000 miles to Capistrano from Serrano. No, no, it isn't impossible. It is. A, a little swallow, three inches long, Jack, no, beating its wings. How can you argue with someone who knows more about music than Leonard Bernstein? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mary. Or Peter. Mary! Now, now, let me go on. Now, when you say that you are sorry, then I will understand. Neath the harvest moon will pledge our love anew. I love anew. Why did you tell him that we didn't drink? Just listen to the finish of it. So, my darling, though we've parted, 
Come back to whence we started. Wins. <laughs> yes, wins. Wins is a poetic form of the word where. I mean, if you're going to analyze it, you can pick on any word. Well, well in this song, yeah. <laughs> any song. Look at it. Lyrics mean nothing without music behind it. Now, look, as soon as my piano player gets here, we'll, we'll, oh, that must be him now. It's about time you got here. I mean, when I called you, why didn't you rush right over? I was in the middle of my karate lesson. <laughs> <laughs> no one will ever attack me. Hiya, kids. This is, this is Peter, Paul, and Mary. I know. Puff the magic dragon, you Scooby-Doo is dragon. <laughs> you have so much, and I have so little. <laughs> I want you to accompany me on this number. All right, but where did I put my piano? The piano is here. <laughs> Sit down. Wait a few years, I'm still growing. <laughs> Will you please go over there? Now, I want you to help me with this number. Because I want them to record it. If you oh like. My, it. how very interesting. What? My piano has 20% fewer cavities. <laughs> Listen, will you do me a favor? I want you to play this number. Wait till I warm up a little. All right. Forget the karate. Okay, what do you want me to play? I want you to play my song. When you say I beg your pardon, then I'll come back to you. For this I warmed up? Yes. <laughs> now look at kids. You know, I have such a Aussie voice, excuse me. I wish that you would sing the number. Because I want you really to record it anyway, so it, you'll get a better idea. But Jack, it's not a folk song. Mary, he he wrote it. It, it could be old enough to be a folk song. <laughs> why, why don't we Why don't we give it a try? I'll get the guitar and let's try and see what we can do with it, huh? Let's try. No, 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 no. wait a minute. <laughs> let, let us try and do it alone ourselves. Yes, please, please. stay out. <laughs> When you say I beg your pardon, then I'll come back to you. When you ask me to forgive you, I'll return. <laughs> like the swallows at Serrano. For <laughs> <laughs> you, my heart. Neath the harvest moon we'll pledge our love anew. So my darling, though we parted, come back to where we stood. <laughs> and sweetheart, then I'll come back to you. It's wonderful. Jack, we did the best we could, but it's really not our type of song. Look, we can't record it, Jack. <laughs> you can't record this number? No. no. We hope we're not offended. But no, no, I'm not offended at all. I think we better be running sort of along vehicle. right now. <laughs> well, I'm yeah, sorry. No, right on, well, you uh, can't do it. Well, we thanks. Thanks, no anyway. Feelings, no, no, no hard feelings. Thanks. Thanks for coming over anyway. Thank you. Thank you. Jack, you can cry on my shoulder. I, I, I don't I don't want to cry. Why should I cry? If those kids had recorded your song, it would have made a fortune. I know. I know. How come you're not disappointed? I'll tell you why I'm not disappointed. Relax. Say I beg your pardon. you all enjoyed the show. Now, before I bring out my guest stars, I uh, 
must admit that that was a pretty sneaky trick that I played on them. But then I did get a wonderful recording of my song. Now, uh, I could have sold it for much more, but I got a quick offer of $5,000, so I took it. Oh, Jack. Uh, thank you, kids. Thank you very much for being on my show. Oh, we enjoyed it so much. Yeah, I'm glad. Uh, you're not mad at what I did to you, are you? Oh, oh no, of course not, Jack. Uh, business is business. <laughs> Here's your $5,000. <gasps> Good night, folks. I'll be seeing you soon.